And welcome back to End Times Prophecy News for the 7 o'clock report. Breaking news, Russia makes massive military withdrawal from Syria. Russia has withdrawn almost half of its air wing from Hamimim facility in Syria. From Sputnik, Russia has withdrawn almost half of its air grouping originally based at the Hamimim facility in Syria, the Russian general staff said Wednesday. The number of terrorist units has decreased, which allowed us to withdraw almost half of the aircraft based at the Haimimim Air Base, Chief of the Main Operational Directorate, Colonel General Sergei Rudoskoy, Rudoskoy said at the 6th Moscow Conference on International Security. Rudoskoy, excuse me, I think it's Rudskoy. Yeah, Rudskoy revealed that the Russian air group never exceeded 35 aircraft between November 10th of 2016 and January 10th of 2017. As for unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, now Russia is operating about 80 drones in Syria, he added. That's all we have for that. Next up, today is the Flotus's wonderful birthday. That's right. Melania Trump was born April 27, 1970. Happy, happy 47th birthday, Melania. Well, it's not uh, the 27th. Okay, we're starting a day early. I think that's a type error. I think it's supposed to be today, the 26th. <laughs> Trump just tweeted a special message, and look who it was, because well, look what her husband's saying. April 26, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Red State, what are we going to do with you? <laughs> Trump just signed a major executive order that will change everything. Today I'm signing a new executive order to end another egregious abuse of federal power and to give that power back to the states and to the people where it belongs. The previous administration used a 100-year-old law known as the Antiquities Act to unilaterally put millions of acres of land and water under strict federal control. Have you heard about that? <clears throat> Eliminating the ability of the people who actually live in those states to decide how best to use that land. Today, we are putting the states back in charge. Deregulating Obamacare and his legacy of vomit from the New World Order. Deregulating it. Taking away power from the feds. A man of the people, by the people, for the people. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now, please get rid of the Monsanto glyphosate in our food please. Well, 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 the fascist plot was just uncovered, folks, and it's bad. We will have 200 or more people rush into the parade, into the middle, and drag and push those people out, as we will not give one inch to groups who espouse hatred toward LGBT immigrants, people of color, or others. In case the message was not clear to you, this is a sanctuary city and state. We will not allow these people to spread their views in East Portland. You have seen how much power we have downtown and that the police cannot stop us from shutting down roads, so please consider your decision wisely. The fascists released their threat before Portland canceled historic city parade. Well, there you go. I guess it's going to be a war zone soon. Oh, they'll stop you. They'll bring in the National Guard sooner or later. And you'll be, you, you end up in prison, jail. You'll be doing lengthy, set. and not only that, but you, a lot of you are going to end up getting uh, uh, felonies for what you're doing. And then we'll see how that pans out for you when all the jobs come back. And you can't get a job because you screwed it all, you screwed your own life up. Yeah. Obamacare replacement plan gets an unexpected support. House Freedom Caucus announces support for Obamacare replacement plan. 
is uh, this just in the house freedom caucus is an, is announcing support wow. uh, for the obamacare replacement for the revised health care proposal uh support from moderates in the gop obviously is still uncertain they just issued a statement on this saying that over the past couple of months house conservatives have worked tirelessly to improve the american health care act to make it better for the american people due to those improvements uh and the addition of representative tom MacArthur's proposed amendment the house freedom caucus has taken Taken an official position in support of the current proposal. That's big news. Yes, actually, uh, I already reported that, I believe, a couple days ago. Yes, the Freedom Caucus is supporting the Obamacare replacement plan, and it looks like it's going to be we're going to have a new plan, and then we have to work on our taxes. Of course, they want to fight as well. White House considering huge withdrawal. Politico is reporting the White House is reportedly considering NAFTA withdrawal. The Trump administration is considering an executive order on withdrawing the U.S. from NAFTA, according to two White House officials. A draft order has been submitted for the final stages of review and could be unveiled late this week or early next week. The officials said the effort, which still could change in the coming days as more officials weigh in, would indicate the administration's intent to withdraw from the sweeping pact by triggering the timeline set forth in the deal. That would be great. We need to get out of NAFTA. That was wicked. Totally wicked. And now the word of God to finish up with. <clears throat> Once again, starting in the 19th verse. Uh, then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the Son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the Father do. For what things soever he doeth, there also doeth the Son likewise. For the law, Father loveth the Son, and showeth him all things that himself doeth, and he will show him greater works than these, that ye may marvel. For as the Father raiseth up the dead and quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son. See that? Jesus is the only one who makes the judgment for all the people on earth. Why? Because he died for us. He paid that price to earn that right by God Almighty the Father that all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father which hath sent him. You understand that, Judaism believers? Ivanka, talking to you too, Ivanka Trump. Judaism does not honor the Son. Therefore, he that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father either. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death into life. Verily, verily, I say unto you that hour is coming and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God and they that hear shall live. This is when the dead in Christ rise first when they shall hear the Son of God as I've told you over and over again, Jesus speaks like a trumpet, Revelation 1.10, when he calls us all up, very loud, come up hither, John, Susie, whatever your name is, and they that hear shall live, and those that are dead shall hear. For as the Father hath life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself and hath given him authority to execute judgment, also because he is the Son of Man. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in the which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice, and shall come forth, they that have done good, unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil, unto the resurrection of damnation. I can of mine own self do nothing, as I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me. If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. There is another that beareth witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witnesses of me is true. Ye sent unto John, and he bear witness unto the truth. But I receive not testimony from man, but these things I say, that ye might be saved. 
He was a burning and a shining light, and ye were willing for a season to rejoice in the light. And so we will leave off there at verse 36 for the 8 o'clock report. Thank you for listening. God bless. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins.